back and we'll go ahead and open up for questions. So what time? Uh, what time did you go to bed last? Uh, I think it went to bed around two thirty. Who kept you up? Uh, we actually rewatched the game last night. Um, I was just curious uh, about where the umpire said was. What did you think about it after you watched? You know, what did you take away from it? Um, I thought he was tight, but he was fair. So, uh, obviously this is just one step of the, the goal for the team. Um, you guys are, are happy to be here, obviously, but, but what's kind of the team's mentality going into this uh, this Super Regional, knowing that really your ultimate goal is to win it all? Um, yeah, I, I think we celebrated last night, uh, the win, and then, you know, we're just going to play game by game, pitch by pitch, and we're really only concerned with Auburn right now. You just dealt with the team that you saw during the regular season. Is it is it kind of a fun thing that now you're going to be dealing with a team that you're not as familiar with and you have to try to kind of figure them out? Is that kind of a fun thing? I think it's a fun thing. Um, I know me personally, I kind of wanted to play Mississippi State because I had, we hadn't played them at all this season. So. Um, not that we didn't want to play Baylor because we knew that we could beat them, but uh, I think it's always fun to get ourselves into new competition, new situations. You guys are no stranger to playing against SEC level. I mean, they've got, I think, like eight teams left in the Super Regional, but you guys have, as a team, you've, you've gone into an SEC Regional or Super Regional and, and won it. So what, what sort of... Uh, role does that experience play uh, going playing against SEC teams or Oregon? Or, you know. I think it just gives us the confidence that uh, we need to go in there and win because we know that we can play with anybody and you know even the win against Alabama this, this uh, past season and then we you know came close to beating them again and I think that gives us a lot of confidence going into this weekend. What do you know about Auburn as a team? What their biggest strengths are? Fair enough. <laughs> Is there a point where you're going to start breaking down, obviously, you know, the, the hitters you'll be facing and whatnot? How does that process begin? Uh, well, it'll start today, probably, when we get our practice. And, uh, just, you know, throwing my stuff. So. I guess it sounds like it's more about you guys and taking care of what you do versus studying what they might do. I think it's uh, any team can beat any team on any day. So I think it's just trusting our own preparation and knowing that we can't beat them. Jordan, was there a point before that last inning, maybe in the, in the, you know, the, the, the fifth inning, for the, or that you felt that you could see that maybe they were, you know, your guys had them on the ropes, it was right there, or did it did it just happen after Carbello's thing and then you went from there? Um, well, I knew when they took Stearns out, I was like, oh, like it's over, you know. I knew that our hitters were ready, ready for Stearns to come out, and um, you know, in that last inning when Sam hit that bomb, we were all like, okay, Shelly gets on, Lexi hits a bomb, and then it didn't happen. Okay, Sam's gonna hit a bomb, and we're gonna end this thing. So um, I think the whole dugout was was just confident that they're gonna get it done. Well, what's this season been like for you, especially after after last year? Um, just kind of bouncing back and then and then really punching your team's ticket to the Super Regional? Um, I think it's definitely good for me as a person. Uh, I know that coming back from a tough season has uh, really shown that I can face adversity and I think I'll take that throughout life. Baylor's, Baylor's coach said that their cleanup hitter was like a Lexi in the making, like she was a young, like she was a younger Lexi. I guess the point of that, what you had to deal with with Baylor, was that kind of some good prep for you, like a good challenge, getting ready for what's coming up? I think so. I think Baylor's a really good team, and um, they do produce, uh, you know, offensively and defensively. And you know, we're 
we're going to see that from now on out. There's no select teams in play. So. Um, what's the dynamic road super regional, home super regional? Like you've done both. Obviously, you want to be at home, but how much more difficult? And, and what was what were your road experiences? Um, definitely, the difference is in our fans and their fans. You know, um, we're not going to have our great fans shop, you know, cheering us on and uh, as much as we like to say it's not a home field advantage, it is. We know it, we know it is. Um, so we're just going into a hostile environment and trying to come out on top. Uh, it's it's kind of like Oregon, you know, and I think that that trip was good for us to, you know, fail a little bit because now we know that what we have to do on a really hard, tough road series. What was your uh, reaction when you saw that they were going to go back with Miss Stearns uh, last night uh, for that last game? Did, did that register at all, or did you just kind of go? I was thinking, poor girl. <laughs> 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 I was like, she's probably thrown 300 pitches today. Um, but I, I knew that, you know, we may not get her in the first first at bats and stuff, but but we're definitely going to get her uh, by the end of the game because you know our hitters have seen her you know 20 at bats a piece, so I knew that they were going to come out on top. Jordan, playing this early in the season probably doesn't matter at all, but y'all played really late this weekend, and now y'all are about to play really early, and we don't know what the weather's going to be for the cast and cool, but if it's if it's hot and we're getting closer to the time, is there is there a big difference between playing at night as opposed to playing this late in the season in the heat of the day like coming especially for the pitchers? Um, I mean, I think everybody struggles with the heat, but hopefully they struggle a little more than us. Nails. Best of luck. Thanks. Thanks, Jordan.